Tomas, I know I shouldn't have any favorites, but in some ways, this tree we are standing under is probably my favorite. Really? Why is that? Well, eastern cottonwoods like this one are native to riverbanks throughout the Midwestern United States and can live for 200 to 400 years in the right conditions. Some of the trees still alive today were indicators for Native Americans and later settlers that there was good well water to dig for nearby. Also, it makes a really cool rustling sound. Do you hear it? Wow, they really catch that wind. I wonder though, why don't all the trees around us make this sound? What is special about the cottonwood tree leaf shape or geometry that allows this tree to be this loud? We did some research and here's what we found out. Let's take a look at a cottonwood leaf. It's pretty triangular and oriented so that it's one of the flat sides that's connected to the leaf stalk rather than one of the points. It also looks like it has serrated edges, kind of pointed toward the tip. Oh yeah, I think I remember hearing that leaf stalks like that are called petioles. They can be absent in some plants like bamboo and really big in others. Did you know when you eat a celery stalk, that's a petiole? Neat. Oh, hey, look how the cottonwood's petiole is vertically flattened near the base of the leaf. I bet that wide, flat edge is able to catch a ton of wind, like a little sail. And given how flappy the leaves themselves are, the slightest breeze can cause major movement, causing that unique sound. I wonder if that helps the plant at all. I know that petioles usually help by supporting leaves and angling them towards or away from light to control how much sun they're getting. They're also a great failsafe if it gets too hot. Some long petioles can change their leaf to petiole angles to be a more cute as needed, drooping leaves out of the direct light. Absolutely. Some plants, like the touch-me-not mimosa, can even change those angles within seconds to evade potential danger. The benefits of those are all easy to understand, but what are these windy petioles doing? That's actually something scientists are trying to figure out. It's so cool that plant geometry, the shapes and angles of all their structures, can have such drastic effects on how the plant lives. If something as simple as a leaf stalk can have such far-reaching effects, I say it's worth noticing the shapes of plants and other things in nature a little more. Absolutely. The cool thing is we don't even need any special trip or equipment to do so. We spotted the petiole just by eye, and there's nature everywhere, even here in a city like Dallas. 